Hey everyone, my name is Yen and I want to welcome you to another episode here of Devolutions HQ. This is episode number 26. This past month was Cybersecurity Month and lots of folks uh, wrote articles and blogs and made videos about uh, cybersecurity awareness. You know, one thing that we did here was we published uh, four different cybersecurity myths. And at the end also, our security team gives you some tips and tricks to help you guys combat these myths and what you guys can do to better secure your organization. So I decided why don't we take all these four myths and make an HQ about it so that you guys can watch all of them all at once. Uh, they're humorous, they're fun, uh, the typical HQ style that you guys like and I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure that you like and you subscribe to the video at the end and uh, comment below and let us know what you guys think about these myths and what you guys are doing about them. Hey everyone, welcome to a cybersecurity myth. This is myth number one. Your 14 character password is safe. As you can see, just because your password is 14 characters long doesn't make it secure. So here are some of our recommendations. That's our tip for you, so stay secure. Hey everyone, right now we have another cybersecurity myth for you. This is myth number two. So, just because a browser has the little S on HTTP means it's secure, right? So no, Jan, you shouldn't buy something just because there's an S in the HTTPS. It doesn't mean it's secure, it just means that normally only you and the website can read the connection. And even there, on a public network, somebody could listen to the connection anyway. And honestly, anybody can buy these kind of certificate for $5. I would recommend to not click on anything. Just because there's an S doesn't mean secure. Be smart. Check the website, does it look legit? Scan it for with virus total as an example to see if it's linked to any phishing attack or malicious malware. In some uh, case, you can click on the little uh, padlock to see who that certificate belongs to. If it's a let encrypt, everybody can buy that. But for example, Facebook or Google should have a certificate that's named after their organization. So, as we just saw, just because a website is HTTPS doesn't necessarily mean that it's perfectly secure. You still have to remain vigilant. Hey everyone, right now we have another cybersecurity myth for you. This is myth number three. So, I just installed the latest antivirus software. That makes me protected, right? False again, Yan. You really think that you're safe just because you have the next gen AV? It's not real true. There's nothing that will protect you against a targeted attack. What we would recommend is to teach what your users need to know, depending on their context, is to have Navy in place, that's for sure. Especially manage one, so you can see as soon as an attack occurs on which computer you need to act. And to do some monitoring of your systems in general, so if one computer starts attacking the other one, you'll know right away. So I think it's kind of obvious that just because you have the latest gen antivirus doesn't necessarily protect you from everything. Make sure you're still safe out there. Hey everyone, here's another cybersecurity myth. Myth number four. All users are stupid and will click on absolutely anything. Can, can we say stupid? So as you know, there's a myth that user will click on anything and that's not real true. As you can see, this looks like any email you would get in your inbox. And if you click that link, it will get you to this normal login page. The only thing that you can see is the URL doesn't match up with any uh, of the Microsoft website. But when you already logged in about 20 times in your day, you're really doing it out of habit. That's why it's really important to have a nice relationship with your users, as you need to know when they click on that, because they re realize it someday. Maybe not on the instant, but they'll still know it and you need to know when to change their user info and their password. So we would recommend to have a nice relationship with your users to use some platform that let user see what a phishing attack can look like 
that they can learn how to interact with their email and that they know which resource they have inside a company. I think we just saw that users are not stupid. In fact, they have quite a bit of knowledge, but we do have to help them in training and knowledge on how to improve in their security awareness. So I hope you guys enjoyed those four myths that we just presented before you. Uh, I know they were a little humorous and fun, but the idea is sometimes we have ideas on our head that aren't really true. And uh, our security team, I think, did a great job explaining uh, how you can combat these myths and some tips to help your organization. And anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you like it below, comment, subscribe, hit that little notification bell to get better videos and more content here from Devolutions. And remember, it's not Cybersecurity Month. Technically, according to my CISO, it's Cybersecurity Year. It's something we need to be discussing all year long. But stay safe out there, have fun, and we'll see you in a video coming up soon. Thank you guys, bye.